Tell, I want to know right. about your parents. What did they do for a living? Um, they both worked in Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Really? Yeah, my pops. Is, is that where they? No, that's, that's where not. they. Nah. Oh, 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 okay. They they met in Jamaica, but okay. um, my pops worked security and my mom's worked on the floor. She mm -hmm. was um worked on the floor with the nurses, like unit secretary. Are they retired? Yeah, they retired now. They chilling. Uh -oh, that's not. Are they still in Brooklyn? Nah. They don't. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they gone. Yeah, you got to move on. You got to move on. What high school you went to? Um, I went to Erasmus Hall High School. Shout out to Erasmus. Yeah, E-Hall is what we call it. Like My mother went it. to Erasmus. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Mom Duke, <laughs> official triple OG E-Hall. That's right. Don't play with that. So you started out there. Yeah, I did three years there, and then I went to uh, Tilden for my last year. Okay, wait a minute now. For my last semester. Okay, what happened? We, we Lisa had, shake his head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, 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 what, what, what required a transfer? The superintendent. What, what happened? He, the, he didn't like you? Super, <laughs> the superintendent requested a transfer. Were you a troubling Let's kid? Let's say that. Ed, were you troubling? Nah, I think that I was at super advanced. I think I'm an advanced species, and pretty much when she, when shit gets slow, I I gotta go. I can't be playing around in slow motion. Okay, so then you left and you went to Tilden. Okay, Tilden. No, I'm not saying the school was slow motion. I'm just saying in life, you know, I'm I'm an advanced species, so I keep it moving. Oh my god, you don't have a problem with self esteem at all, do you? Nah. All right, well, all right, look, I got locked up. Okay, yeah, I got locked up in the school, and they put me in other Okay, school, well, shit right? happened. See, this is, happen. Ed, this is what I like about it. See, this is what I need from you. I want yeah. you to just humanize so we ain't, yourself. Yeah, we are, we, yeah, we, I'm human. I'm human right here, but what a human, what a human decides to share is on that human. I right? feel you. I feel you. And... and Lachey, okay, as much as <laughs> right now, uh, go ahead. I'm playing. But what I'm saying is that you, you know, like you are somebody that. Okay, you got locked up in school. Whatever shit happens. There's so many kids out here that is looking at you like, oh, word, oh, all right. Well, he made it through. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, he, yeah. like people look at you and we want to, we want to see you a little bit flawed. I don't, I don't see you yeah. flawed. I see you looking like. You know, like this perfect yeah, picture, that's, and, that's, and and that's what we need. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. though. You feel me? Yeah, that's the past. I mean, I've no, been, no, and that's right. Yeah. And you overcame that. I've overcame that several times. Well, yeah. look, tell me this: when you were in school, were you a good student? Yes, I was an excellent student, grades wise. And then you know, I know wise, that attendance, attendance wise was. <laughs> Yeah, there was that was a well. You know, you gotta be there. To get yeah, there was a there's other factors involved. Right, right, right. But you know, I can tell that you was a good student. You know why? Because lyrically, right, lyrically. Well, the tests, nothing. That's nothing. I I write. I I do any tests. We ninety and better. Well, being that you uh obtained success so young, were you able to finish? Yeah, what I had to do, let me tell you, what not what I had to do, what I chose to do was um, the last semester, I was started doing a lot of shows and missing school as well. Okay. And then I was already on a truancy level. So they advised me that if I missed any more days that I wouldn't graduate. Right. And I was like, nah, look, I'm working. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make money right here. Like, I'm, I'm doing it, you right. know. And at this time, a couple of shows is they annual salary so i'm looking at them like yo how y'all gonna stop me and what y'all want me to be mm -hmm. so they they i said i wanted to get a tutor they was said nah who's they the school okay the guidance counselor okay. Are we, are were you signed at this point yeah i was doing shows at this point wow i was at the, 17 what are you 17 16 16 years old i was at the apollo on the apollo teachers like yeah we come to the show boo, boo. teachers coming yeah to the show. <laughs> yeah other teachers talking about yeah my daughter in such and such college you doing a show there, so blah, you're blah, 16 blah. with a major label you got in songs on the radio independent label okay profile records was an independent label oh okay they did have run dmc which was a major success but the label itself was an independent label. Mm, so they caked off. Yeah. They um they manufactured, distributed, and was the label all in one. So that's like we in here in the basement doing everything. 
When you were in school, did you play any sports? Nah. Sports I, wasn't really your thing? Nah, I, I did a little shoot, shoot a little basketball in junior high up to then. Mm-hmm. You know, just running around like a kid, but then I stopped running. I decided to not run no more. So that's when all the playing stopped, mm-hmm. you know, and it got serious. When, um, before music took off, I just, I'm just curious, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you, when you grew up? Before the whole music thing took off, what was your dream? I wanted to be in the real estate. You wanted to be a real estate mogul? (laughs) So young? You seem like you um, are like a little bit beyond your years. I told you, I'm a man species. Like, do you feel like. I don't even know what people are talking about. Good good night, Ed. I can't. Yeah. (laughs) No, serious. I don't have a lot of conversations because I don't know what y'all are talking about. Y'all talking like So tell me how everything initially started. Did it start it out with battles? Did it start it out with talent shows? When did you know like I'm the shit, I'm about to this is about to go to another level? Probably in like the third grade. Um, yeah. Um, we was doing some poems and stuff for the little booklet. Okay. Boom, and I did my little limerick and um they read my, when they was reading everybody's stuff. They read mine. Everybody started laughing. So I'm looking around. They ain't know it was mine. Right. They just start laughing. I'm looking around like, oh wow, where that's funny. Okay, I could do that again. Okay. So I, you know, why do you think the they writing. was laughing? Because it was. I guess it had some humor to it. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? It was witty. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a witty poem. Mm-hmm. And they'd laugh, and I was like, oh, cool. And then I kept doing that and just writing. And after that, and I, I, I seen that they was paying attention to my writings. Mm. And I was like, oh, okay. And I kept writing. And poetry developed into rap mm-hmm. when rap spawned, you know. From... And when it when it spawned, like who would, at some point you had to say, oh, this person, I would love to be on stage like this person. Or who did you admire? Who did you say? Well, I want to do this like him. Okay, well, it spawned and I, f- I fell in love with the music, but those are not the artists that made okay. me rap. Mm-hmm. Um, they inspired me to rap, but when I saw the su- the actual success of Run DMC and the Fat Boys, I felt like it was possible, mm-hmm. humanly possible, because the Fat Boys was from Brooklyn. Run DMC was from Queens. Right here in my face. Right. If they could get it, and I could rap, and I felt I was good as them. Right. So I was like, if I could rap and I'm as good as them, why I can't get it too? Right. So that's why I went after the the prize. So tell me how it initially like set off. Like, I know you met Howie T. Right. Which is a produ- producing legend. Love Howie Shout T. Shout out to Howie Brooklyn. T. Brooklyn. Hitman Howie T. <clears throat> was he instrumental in getting you to deal? Absolutely, because Howie T provided the first demos or the first songs. Okay. How did you get to him? Like, how did you meet him? Okay. Howie T grew up on Schenectady. Uh, well, he ain't there no more, so I can <laughs> say. Good for him. Yeah. <laughs> so, and my cousins grew up directly across the street on Schenectady, right next to the graveyard. Okay. Shout my, out to Howie T. Uh, yeah, my cousins was across from the graveyard, so they grew up. And when we were younger, even in the days when, you know, my cousins had to hold my hand across the street, we used to go over to Howie's crib, and they would be in the backyard in the garage DJing and making mixtapes. Now, Howie T, is Howie T Howie T right now? Hitman Howie T. No, I'm saying? Is he, he like... is Howie T, but he is... He's, I mean, we all evolve. Okay. So he's not going to be. Okay. He wasn't, he wasn't Chub Rock, real rock saying. That's how that, he teased. No, I'm saying like, he wasn't, was he big? Like, was he like, oh my God, I, I, I want to get with how he tea or was he still low key? You know what I'm saying? He was, well, to me, I grew up seeing him all the time. So I don't know how other people perceive them, but I perceive, perceive them as, the music man okay. across the street from my cousin that I grew up watching that gained success with these artists and he was the local hero. Okay. So I was like, well, that's the, the closest person I need to get to. Right. 
So I told my cousin, yo, I need to holler at Howie. And at this time, I'm about 15 years old. Okay. So she like, for what? Look for what? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> nah, just take me over there. I, I need to, I, I'm a rhyme. Okay. She's like, yeah. She kind of like, yeah, me, but she did it. And she did it without even hearing you? Like, just trust well, my cousin know me, man. Okay. Jennifer, Jennifer know me, man. Okay. She know I'm about it, about it. If I say I'm doing something or whatever, whatever. No, it's real. If I say, yo, I'll be right back. I'm going to get this. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm coming right back with it. All right. So you go over there. Right. I go over there and um, Howie down there with a um, Couple few of holes. friends. No, nah, right. man. It's like, <laughs> nah, you know what? Howie probably to me, man, has always been probably the most respectable person, you know, just in general, man, like in, in all areas of his life, you know, in his family and and business mm -hmm. and everything the most fair and the most humble mm. you know what i'm saying and that's, that's kind of where quality. yeah that's mm -hmm. how I, I, I admired that and i said you know what i'd rather be that way and and not have the problems that other people have because <clears throat> i've seen it all right right so so it's fair to say that y'all cool today yeah okay good yeah, how he like my big brother man i love that yeah he just hit me just told me he needs some of them t-shirts i'm gonna send him some shirts <laughs> <laughs> please tell him i said hello yes um let's talk about the name did how we give you the name um no the name i got when i was in high school okay um, is that because of personal a personal situation well i mean just in general i think it just fit the the, the type cast you so you weren't in special ed Nah, oh, never. Okay. <laughs> she said, <laughs> and it's nothing wrong. Oh, I gotta with, ask. It's right. It's nothing wrong with needing uh, extra attention. It though. sure isn't. But a lot of the kids was just like wild out. Like they didn't really care to respond correctly, so they was given that title. Well, it was you know super catchy yeah. and mad memorable. But regardless, on well, that's really why I, I thought about it, and I was like, yeah, you know what? That's a good look. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It'll make people think. That's true. That's true. So at this particular time, everything is popping or popping, <laughs> popping off for you. Yeah. I want to know how your f parents dealt with your success. Like, you know what I mean? Because I can't see parents is like, just go ahead, go ahead. Like, were they supportive? Were they reluctant? Um, you, you know what I'm saying? Like. Well, were they mad at you? Nah, I tell you, at first they were kind of like mm. didn't really grasp the concept of the rapture, right? Mm -hmm. Or what was really about to happen. I could hear your they father thought, cursing you out. Nah, he didn't curse me out, but he was when my, I brought my managers to the house. Oh, and shit. that's what you was, don't do. He was basically <laughs> like, All right, well, you know. You supposed we'll to see. have that talk. We'll see, but that's <laughs> expecting you know because I'd probably do the same thing today. Really? Yeah, I'd be like, okay. I mean, I would have to know. I have to. They have to show and prove. I have to know who these people are. I have to do my okay. due diligence. Mm -hmm. But for my pops, there's no internet. There's no reference. Mm -hmm. There's no nothing. Mm -hmm. These is just. I'm just bringing dudes to the house. That's like, yeah, we signed a contract and blah blah blah. Or we want to. We got an opportunity on the table. Right. But I guess when we started going to court, they figured it was real. Right. And they came and they supported Did me. Did they have to sign off for you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I was I was 15. What was your first advance? 